we put off filming this today is because it's either too windy, too sunny. I'm half in, half out of the night. The weather is beautiful, beautiful, but like it's right now. It's too nice to film inside. Anyway, so this, the water see in the bath. Uh, the bath. What do you call it? It's not a vlog, is it? Walk through. Walk through. What do you call it? No. Pick. Okay. The bath pick. And this is the corresponding haulage um, of everything that we picked up and talking a bit more in detail about it. If you have just stumbled across this video. Then wow. Unfortunate for We're you. We're amazing. <laughs> um, we are luxury pickers and we buy it and sell things. And sell resell. places. We resell. Anyway, a lot of the footage from the previous video was um, not the greatest as regards explanation or close-ups because Austin is inept at GoPro footage. Uh, apologies once again. I do this every video, so I'm I not you getting just better. Get too excited. I, I do. Like when I'm picking, I'm like in there, in there, in there. Anyway, let's get on like with the haul. Chameleon. Yeah, in a Anyway, so first up, in no. Remember what we told me a bit. Are you okay there? Okay, Can we just get cozy? There you go, there you go. Um, in no particular order, because I think we put these up very last, but whatever. Um, <laughs> these trousers, these are trousers. Do you want to hold them? I have to have something to do, don't I? Yeah. Uh, they are Lucy and Yak, but they're from the organic range. Um, not everything from Lucy and Yak, Lucy and Yak. Easy for you to say. Is organic, but these particular pants are. And they were really well known originally for dungarees. They still um, are, aren't they? Yeah, well, obviously. And then they went into like chore jackets, and now they've gone into trousers and t-shirts and things like that. I will um, say these are very thick. They're cotton. Um, yeah, they're like, said, they they're they very feel thick. like um, in the nicest possible way. They feel like curtains. Yeah, they do. They're, like, they're really almost thick. like you know that chino fabric, but like but a bit more. I don't know, like almost like I don't know wipe clean, but yeah. you know what I mean by that, like coated. Um, I overpaid for these. Keep showing the pizza talks. Sorry. I overpay for these. They're like they a were twelve pound. They're like a harem pan with a drop crotch and an elasticated waist. Now, I'm made in India. The retail, full retail is only about 40. The only reason I picked them up for 12 pound is because we are just about to hit Festival season. Festival season. Just messing with you. Just the comedy I bring. Glastonbury's on next week or week after. Uh, and we are like close. Ones, you know, park life and cream fields and I don't if, know. if you don't go in Somerset, like you're, you're kind of cast aside and you're also very grumpy about it. You're not Alienated going, but from also society. You, you feel very... Um, you can hear it from where you live. Just annoyed really, but yeah. they are, whatever. Um, no, I mean a grouch. It's cool. It's cool. It's a vibe, isn't it, when it's on? we can never get tickets. I yeah. don't want to work there. Everyone Let, always offers for us to work there. Like, we you need know, a ticket, like, so you have to do is work there. People, I don't want to work. Like, I want to go and have, drink we have people and watch that music. own, like, fashion stores and stuff there. Yeah. And they're always like, well, you can get in and take, but you have to, I'm like, no. They once asked us to do our... Um, our, our other company um, and set up a, a stand there. And we said, like, obviously, predominantly it's high-end luxury. And, like, I have friends who go to Glastonbury. They don't nah. want to pay for £100 nah. for a T-shirt. Just not. Um, anyway, no, 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 I'm going to try and get a 30 to 35 just based on item and colour. Right, I, I, and I like see. design. Like, this is a me at all. Like, Which is a premium. Pants, but it's cool. I appreciate the colours and I think the people who like this kind of brand, it's a vibe. Yes. Okay. okay. Right, next up, uh, should we just get over? Let's just do this. It needs a defluff and it needs a from the fondle. These are literally, we, have, we haven't even photographed these and that's why we're showing you as they are. Um, so this is the, the long black label from the video. We pay seven pounds. And this literally um, has nothing. When we say long black label, yeah. it has nothing on. The only way to really differentiate that, I mean, obviously it's an amazing piece anyway. One pocket. It's like a cropped knit, wool knit, uh, it's button gorgeous. down. It's sort of got like a Tudor-esque shape to it. It's, like it's very, quite, um, like structured, but not. Even all the lines, these yeah. are all off centre. Yeah, it's lovely. Anyway, asymmetrical, you yeah. know, off, off kilter. Um, in the inside label, it does say black label, and this is part of the black label. Uh, run, run house, run yeah, house, run house, run, run house. Um, th that's the only way really to differentiate. I mean, you won't find so many of these about, but when you do find some with a black label, or maybe it's missing, or maybe the font's gone, or whatever, yeah, the yeah. print's gone. Check that label, you know, say black label. So this would retail between about one seven five and two hundred. Um, it's, it is. Oh, I just think it's really nice. I'm yeah, really obsessed well. with this kind of thing. Um, it's hard to see in the light because it's no, you can see it. You it's, can. It's fine. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try and get over a hundred back for it. And uh, once we've fondled with it and given it a bit of love, like even the edges, um, it's all kind of like 
I don't know. It's not, like a felted. Yeah, it's it's that that, but that's like a it's like a backwards version of a of a of a um hem. A hem. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go for over a hundred. So this is Easily. this is relatively like more of a basic piece. If you find run holes like the big lagun look dresses or trousers, multiple hundreds. Yeah, you're know, you're gonna do much better. But I'm really happy with this piece. And don't be put off if it's a cardigan or a knit in win in summer. Because no. people buy cardigans all year round. We were talking to someone about this yesterday. Oh. People are always going on different holiday destination holidays. You might need a cardigan for the evening. You might need... You know, you just Even over and above that, tonight, it might be sunny today. Yeah. 20 degrees. Yeah. 30 degrees. So, tonight, if you sat out... I mean, no, even like ski stuff. Like People go skiing yeah, yeah, of course. Um, in the summertime. Anyway, so next up is toast. Um, it's when this, Bethany like, puts it in my face, it's kind of like hold this. Yeah, I've got sun in my eyes. It's very much like a burgundy white stripe. I'm oh, sorry about the traffic noise. I always forget the traffic noise. You can hear the traffic noise. Okay. At least there's no wind. Well, I it's wait for it. It's mainly tractors. I heard this. It's all commercial vehicles. Yeah, it's all commercial vehicles. Anyway, so this is toast. I paid up for this seven pound fifty. I didn't pay up for it because it's still going to go for good money. But I prefer not to pay seven pound fifty for toast. However, I've been the Bretony style style stripes have been flying out for us yeah um it isn't a true breton because a true breton is like 21 stripes or whatever for the amount of countries or places that napoleon it's based upon that it's based, based on his horrible uh french Values. naval uh nautical wear so i do put breton in the title just because it's sort of a breton style stripe um and it tends to sell it a bit quicker um but it's just a cotton. Um, they normally go quite fast for thirty five pounds to me, and it's quite a big size. We've done quite a few it's of these large. recently, and once again, like I think, if you kind of into that toast vibe or not, maybe, but into the toast vibe in general. That's a crispy, crispy. If you understand toast labels, you understand how crispy that toast. Yeah, they label they wear is. very quickly, and the print comes off very quickly. Um, the these we've been done, like I said, we've done quite a few recently, and they seem to come and go out, come and go out. Yeah. So anytime we see them, because we know there's a there's a there's a good value, but a quick turnaround, we don't yes. mind paying a little bit more. It's like a summer stay isn't it yes uh next up i wanted to show you this more in a video so i'm glad that we're having this opportunity now together and this is grizzlies i always say it wrong i always say grizzly is like a grizzly bear but you probably say it with a nice we're accent gonna, yeah exactly that Grizz in our video i believe you put some of the um the labels not for this particular piece I, uh, that, well that's really awkward then maybe no. we'll pop it here no it was a velvet quin and stuff like that this um i actually thought this was zebra print but it's <laughs> it's not it's just a pattern I know that now. It's like a wavy textured pattern. Pink. It's that's a, nice, the side kind of yeah, panel. It's got like pockets. Oh, that's what it is. Yep. Um, it's nice. a double X, which is obviously fantastic because if, it, if you want to wear it oversized or if you want. I was going to say it's oversized. Like, yeah, it's, it's oversized. It's, it's, it's relaxed, it's oversized, it's lovely. Um, I don't know what it's made of. It's. it's Hit me with a dog. Is 65% linen and 35 percent silk i'm done that's it i'm gone that's good isn't it? i'm not really it's just really really good and once yeah. again composition of any item silk yeah, cashmere linen right i paid 12 pounds for this wool. mainly wool. because i imagine myself wearing it on like a little cruise little i feel i feel like shimmy that. shimmy onto that cruise line yep um so I thought someone else might want to shimmy shimmy in it and on the cruise line. Like the the the, the fact of the matter is, if you feel like you might want to shimmy shimmy in it, there's a good chance someone else might it's want to shimmy really shimmy in it. Not really my colour, if I'm so honest. Go for I'm it. not a pink kind of girl. Because I got once again though, solid brand. Sorry. No, it's okay. Talk about my washout there. Solid brand, double XL size. Yeah, um, which I would say is about sixteen to eighteen, but I will measure it. I reckon. I reckon. I reckon it's more, yeah, sixteen to eighteen. It's a, it's a, it's anyway, size. twelve pound. I'm gonna go for a hundred. I'm gonna list it higher than a hundred and hope it falls somewhere around the hundred mark. We um, we also had quite a few comments recently. I'm gonna say it. Okay. Um, I, I, <laughs> the things you don't see. Um, we've also had quite a few comments lately that people are, are kind of thinking some of our prices are high and um, that we're charging a little bit too much or maybe you know. Um, and I would say compared to what. Like if you're if you're hitting me with eBay comps, I know I've gone by this every video. I'm gonna do it every video till people get it through their heads. Um, not to everyone. That sounds aggressive. It's aggressive, yeah. Yes. I am aggressive. That's how my nature is. Um, but but all joking aside, we price it at what it, what we think the value is uh, f f compared to full we do retail. Look at comps. I mean, so of course we do. It's, it's it's a point. It's a it's a point, but it's not the end-all. It's a end point all. of reference. Um, so from our point of view, these prices are our prices, and we sell things. So 
happy days. We can only tell you to our best ability what we do and what we do successfully. And if you can take even something, even if of it's course. labels or pricing, or if you can take something away from it and apply it to your business and make money, then coolios. Um, Listen, if you, if you do £100 in three weeks or £25 in a week, I know what I'm doing. Next. Actually, like this too. That's this, is, I, this is one of my favourite pieces we picked up. From this, this is whole. modern rarity. I'm gonna we're gonna flip the video for the first time ever based on recommendations. Yes, some, someone mentioned that every time we because I don't do that. think about it. No, no, no. Once again, so, we do it because we want to see ourselves. Modern rarity, which is a John me. Lewis. Uh, Predominantly John Lewis brand. This is a size 18. Um, I do pick up modern rarity. I like picking up modern rarity. I think it sells for me as best uh, as well as hush yeah hush and John Lewis, Lewis I, I think it's a different a different realm i think however this enters i wouldn't really pay up for it i want to get it cheap as possible same with hush same with mint velvet but this enters different realms because this crosses over to like the whole lager look space if you're unaware of the lager look space there are some resellers on instagram that really really like nail like the knowledge on the lager 100 percent. also if if you're not I'll give you a quick example. Do you remember your batch crazy um, art teacher, possibly even your drama yeah, teacher, art... with the clogs, which yeah, are like yeah. really cool now from Birkenstock? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, vibes. Um, remember that lady? Or oh, that chap? That was what she was wearing. Yeah, Not just, that particular brand, just, but that's, that's a lagoon look. Sometimes I ask for like um, oversized, keywords on natural Instagram. fabrics, um, cuts. Sometimes I just put art teacher in the title. There you go. Yeah, it normally sells. Um, this was reduced to £4, for which was for this bath shower shop obviously you can see from some of the prices we've been paying they price they price up for bread and butter and then some of the higher end brands that they miss they give the bread and butter price it's yeah. very anyway but Once, this was reduced yeah I'm, I'm gonna go back with that a little bit further so we can see because i actually what my, my favorite pieces of this what is bits about this is the fact that the front is the back is lower it's incredible like a split hem but it's not a split hem is it split hem yeah, it is split yeah hem. it's curved um, it's curved as well which it's is really got nice the central pleat it's a uh, striped, it's like a pinstripe. And once again, uh, gray. This, is, this is an 18, but it's an oversized 18. It's massive. Not as in like 18, I'm just saying it's huge. No, number. for an 18, it's huge. Also, this is 49% uh, linen. That's a vibe. Yeah, that's it doesn't vibe. feel it, I'll be honest. No. It feels light, but. I thought it would be like. Puff, I also really like this pleat. Yeah. I think I think it makes it it makes it less like it's really nice if you know? you're looking for layered looks. Anyway, four pound modern rarity. I normally aim for like hush prices, so twenty five to thirty. I'm gonna go a little bit higher on that because of the size and because of the style. I'm gonna go thirty five, and hopefully it goes on vintage. I put my I cross this all my sort of like bread and butter. I don't like that term, but bread and butter. There's no other term to yeah. use, is there? The uh, staples basics I put on to vintage crosses to vintage and um they've been going really well and i've been using ebay at the moment for sort of mid to higher end and then vestia yeah, for yeah, that you, know, you, you know what we, we've, we've been using vintage for x amount of time now and i've got to say for bread and butter i know you just gone over this i am always shocked when um we get a sale in not because <laughs> we're shocked about sales but because vintage seems to be consistently great at yeah. getting sales in at the moment would you not agree it's a bit slow at the moment i mean the last couple of days but well, a day or so i'm saying I'm but in general i just suspect so much from it sorry i just walked into a terrible to pop the horseshoe of dream that actually it's not a horseshoe and it probably means something it's probably zodiac for a woman or something i probably. don't know that i probably just made no sense once whatsoever. again sometimes as i say all the time the we comments. just sell these things if yeah, you put in the in comments. comments we don't just sell them we what did them. someone say the other day and i was like wow um someone told me amazing the signal is the signal spanish. the spanish kind of um very very colorful yeah. artsy brand we had in our last haul so if you haven't seen it go watch um the signal in spanish means unequal boom so tell me what this logo means tell me what the logo there's your means. homework how about that i'm probably gonna look up right these are tie-dye uh basic um gym leggings um, Lululemon has a habit, the newer Lululemons have a habit of putting really long, unnecessarily long labels in and they get cut out. This is an old pair. It's an old pair which doesn't have it. It does, it has a thick label. It does have it. It has a thick label. Oh yes, there, sorry, yeah. I think you meant the long one, it doesn't have a long one, that's what I was saying. No, it doesn't have a long one. And people cut out, cut the long ones out because they get a little bit uncomfortable, so always look out for the logo that someone's going to tell me what it means. These are five pound. I think it's just Lululemon like. The L's backwards and then curved. It could be, yeah, it could be backwards. Yeah, um, or you mean like? LL. I bet it's really obvious. I'm just being so stupid. And if it's not, you know what? It's okay too. Lululemon is one of those higher echelon, echelon uh, gym wear brands for ladies and men. 
Yeah, they do. Um, along with Sweaty Betty, I would expect um, retail to be upwards of 100 for a pair of leggings. Then you get the higher, higher end brand. You've got Lucas Hue. You've got ALO or Allo, if Alo, you want to yeah. call it that. Yeah. Um, and, and those sort of brands which go upwards of like 150. Yep. Um, these were five pounds. They're a nice little like tie dye moment. People pick these up for like, the colour. Also, a festival gear. 100%. Now, people will, like, I think as well, leggings. a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, mostly ladies to be fair, but men too, but a lot of people across the board are wearing these like every day as they'll put like some kind of running or, or gym yeah. shoes on and having this to do the daily kind of just as easy. Do that. But every time I go to do it, I feel like I should be in the gym and I just feel guilty for the whole day. <laughs> Um, Running around after the gym, yeah, not so much. Short shorts. They're cute. I don't like short shorts. Are, yeah. This snake print, These like are a python kind of print. Denim snake, and they've also they actually they actually show really well on the camera too. Yeah. Sort of they've also stones. got little skulls. Look how cute. Yeah, that's cool. Um, little skull studs. There we go. Um, the this is from a brand called. We picked these up. These actually, this particular thing we picked up. There were two things that we picked up on the way home that we didn't film, so I've added them to the haul for you. Just for you. This is from the brand The Couples. The Couples is a high street store, but I would call it high end high street. I would actually uh, say it's one of the highest high end. Retail is huge. Yeah, and they do have outlets as well. Um, I would say their aesthetic is grunge, is rock and roll chic. That's where that, that skull comes from. Yeah, so you've got to have like the rock and roll, like, you know, I'm really cool, but you've also got to be fashionable for the streets. Majority of the, the, these brands' pieces are actually black and white, so what you just said yeah. is totally correct. So this is kind of, I'm not saying everything, like there's no colour in, the, in this collection at all, but generally the colour pieces um, are a little bit rarer, so they either will go for a little bit more or slightly less, depending uh, on the customer. Also, when you're listening, you be really careful, because um, eBay always auto-correct me to the couples. Yeah. Um, and it's it's not. the couples, they do men's and women's wear. Um, they do really nice boots and leather, leather goods like that. These are just a pair of little shorts, but I thought festival season. Yeah. Um, they're a size 26, 26 waist, which, yeah, 26. Is, a, which is an eight off the top of my head. Um, but they're so festively. You say they? 10, there's no way that's a 10. No, these would have been over 100 retail. Yep. Um, I'm probably gonna try be a nice condition too. For, I'm gonna, I, you know. How's the wind? It. I haven't looked at comments, so I'm going to go 50, around 50, I reckon. Do it. Uh, someone want those. This oh, was featured in the first um, the first shop in the video, if you haven't seen it. As I said, Future Self is a brand owned by Alfie Days. Alfie Days from Zoella and Alfie Days. Uh, oh, that's an insult. Oh, he's, he's Alfie Days on his own. But yeah, he, but I'm saying more, more, I guess he, majority of people would know Zoella also. Zoella. Has Alfie Days had a line in boots commercially? No, no Zoella has. So therefore, I would guess more people would know Zoella. Either way, let's not argue on film. He just had uh, a pop-up for this brand. This is did. his brand that he's sort of like... It's his fashion brand. It's not merch, if that makes sense. It's his fashion brand. When he started, it was kind of merch level, like if I'm yeah. honest, quality wise. However, it's, it's, in, it's, it's significately increased his as he's gone on, which I'm impressed joggers. with. I looked his for, new stuff is very good. I looked at the, at the website for this for the last video and put in comps in. We do include actual comps on the screen in the walkthrough video. So if you want to see those, then go over to that one and see the comps. Like, visually. Yes, yes, yes. We don't put comps in this video. This is just as natural. We talk too much. Um, future self i looked on his website he hasn't got any t-shirts in stock apart from one that says baby the future is ours which they introduced when they had their child yep um they don't have any of the future self yep. logo t-shirts um the and there are absolutely none on ebay and there are absolutely none sold a few of the hoodies have sold on bids and things like that i haven't checked depop yet no. um i'll be honest it's more of a depop thing than a than a it ebay was three pound fifty and we wanted to experiment oh. I, like I said, I know I know about this brand. I'm aware about this brand. I will say, as Bethany just said, every time he drops uh, a, a collection, it sells out, and there's usually like one or two pieces left, which will be like I don't know, a random keyring or, or something random. So the fact that they sell out, I'm not saying this is going to go like hotcakes. However, I do think it's a solid item for three pound fifty to give a whirl. I think in twenty five, and I'm thinking vintage, but I just wanted to try it and see how it how it went because it is Agreed. a is it's a fashion brand in its own right, but it also has that sort of celebrity link. Yeah, without being just merch. I'm leaning. Leaning. Next up. This was <laughs> this was a nightmare in the first place to show. This is okay. uh, Sweaty My Betty. That's a Sweaty Betty label. Take note of that because honestly that, that, that comes off so often on these pieces. I've been finding loads of gym wear recently. I'm so happy with it. Anyway, this is a double layered piece. It's got the multicolored like outer vest which can be adjusted. It's got an adjustable like string. 
then it's got the neon orange yep. under layer and um, it's in that sort of moisture wicking material great for vessels that one was <laughs> it was in bath so it was a bit more and they obviously knew what it is however i noticed the other day when austin was fondling it i fondle things all the time is one it's got the reflective logo which you want to look out for but also under yep. under this piece it's got a pocket oh that's cool like a hidden pocket literally yeah, to put yeah your... that's nice to put your um, phone or something things you need to sneak into video uh, festivals yep oh. oh you see where i go that's so bad who sneaks things in I'm festivals i'm not sneaking i'm just saying it's a selling point um as far as you, 6 50. um the basic tops i get 35 for like just the plain vest the hoodies i get 60 to 75 so i'm gonna go uh 40. cool because it is so that you have to like bright colors i guess yeah this is this is an anthropology brand it's called um vanessa virginia a good way of um knowing actually whether it's an anthropology brand or it's because basically what anthropology does explain yeah explain what anthropology does as a, as a anthropology business. is like a boho gorgeous store and they do like Home. homeware uh, accessories clothing but what they do is they have other designers sell their wares within their shop so they'll buy x like they'll buy an x amount or have like and guest spots say, like, for, for fashion brands i don't know or say like cloth and stone and um, but then every now and then what they do is they produce for them yeah so specifically if it works well these brands under their name so if you don't ever if you ever you think oh that's a really nice sort of like artisan label if you go to your little wash tag if it's in there the top thing it says is for eu imported click it should, no should. it says for yeah, the eu imported for anthropology and then you'll know it's an anthropology brand anthropology brands are hit and miss depending on which ones are popular and which ones have uh better sort of like reputations of their own right but uh, yeah i was just gonna say i would also say especially with like as regards to the picking side of this kind of thing you make a really good point check those labels because a lot of times even even with this and i say that that's i'm so condescending to everyone else but i'm talking and we, we deal with a lot of labels yeah. every single day of our lives and we have them for years and years and years right but some of these labels they change very quickly too so someone when we don't do as well for anthropology yeah, yeah. they stop they stop stocking them so um i would say what if you don't know the label not everything if it feels like a nice garment and this kind of style maybe yeah. not this specific garment but that kind of genre of clothing just check the label because you could have something that's worth 30 40 50 pounds yeah so i picked this mainly not even because of the anthropology brand because i'm I don't, i've had dealings of this brand it's not like fire fire but the um, vibe on this actual it's piece it's very like can you show it properly? of course yeah yeah it's very like boho chic it's, it's slightly cropped it's beaded um it's embroidered it has it's, lace details right throughout i would call that crochet it is crochet I'm, my mistake and it's got like, some 3d like textured petals it's just a nice piece even I the think... actual fabric you can see kind of through that you can see you know me know, it's sometimes, very very sometimes what i do yeah. is i imagine it on a lady in the shop and i think oh yeah yeah i know I'll what get you mean because that would be nice on that lady yeah cool my imaginary friend. lady lady okay. um, um so that we was sorry that was 450 450 and i would just bet 30. there you go especially at this time of year um i'll show you this because we didn't find this video um you would have seen these in the video if you had watched um i expect me all to have watched have you watched watch these are some paul smith there he is paul smith um these are literally basically unused they're a size four it's a little map of london how cute is that um i like the details of the heart and stuff as well yeah so it's got a little heart with the logo the in name. it the buckle and then the trim i don't know if you can see that that's the like paul smith, paul smith striping. uh his like signature pattern stripe yeah yeah the leather and they were in the most expensive shop so yeah it was crazy fantastic uh these are a size ladies size four but i find that paul smith sandal uh shoes go really well i also it is summer ah uh, yeah and i have some sandals yep um uh, eight pounds we pay. Drink in the small. Oh, I don't know. I thought <laughs> she, she actually doesn't drink like at all. Sun, I'm I do. Completely too total. Heavily. I feel like the sun. <laughs> uh, heavily, because you live with me, right? Um, we paid eight pounds in the most expensive shop. Um, I would expect we sold trainers. Yeah, we did recently for sixty-five. On vinted. So Once again. on vinted. So I'd expect fifty. I'm gonna go fifty. Should we go fifty? Let's go five zero. 
five zero. I don't think they're the most like. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they're the most fashionable things I've ever seen in my whole life. But I, I think actually think very, that's why they're fashionable. Though. I think they're very wearable. They sort of got that two Y two K vibe. But like, like your mum wants to do Y two K that yeah. sort of vibe. Yep. Like um, they, you wouldn't call that traditionally uh, height of fashion right now. But I think that's why it's cool. It was a fly. Come down, dear. Anyway, so yeah, so these were eight, and I want fifty um, back for them. They're quite nice. I mean, but they're a vibe. It's just the right person and the right styling to make them pop. This was the shop that was not filmed, but I thought I'd include them so we could talk about it. These need some cleaning, but they're, they're pretty clean. I like the logo here. Yep. That's it. yeah. Birkenstock. Um, they are the relaxed foot bread. Bread. Bed. They are the relaxed foot bread. They have the relaxed footbed. See how thick they are? That's the relax. They're like thicker. They're like the sides. They actually said on them as well. It says yeah. relax. Um, uh, they're patent leather with the buckles. So they're slightly adjustable. These Single strap. These have been worn, but the upper is quite nice. Once again, um, they haven't been cleaned yet, so they'll look nicer than that. Do you know what? I around. pick up. Some, I pick up knackered Birkenstocks for like 50p in a pound at boot sales and I've been they've been flying out of vintage 20 pound a piece if you if you if they if they, if they have like it's they're more about the footbed if the footbed's in nice condition and the rest is yeah. done for you can always kind it's of when you can see someone's foot that's very light in this one but sometimes you can see their foot it's, it's madness I think that makes me feel physically ill right but Austin was teaching me something about Birkenstocks so I'm a personal Birkenstock wearer um I personally like the clogs yeah um but now they've become really fashionable and it annoys me. Anyway, this little foot, this little foot that you see in Birkenstocks, this is the size, this is the Birkenstock, and then they have like the range here. But this little foot. Yeah, the foot. Go a little closer. So you can either have, have a full yeah. coloured yeah. in foot or you can have the outline of a foot. The full coloured in foot means they're narrow. Yep. And the outline of the foot means they're regular, which would be their sort of wide, you know? So, so these, they don't do wide. So these are narrow. Those are narrow. Okay, um, once again, um, that's just information that's on the Birkenstock site. That's not like, oh my God, we know everything about everything. But once again, a little bit of research if, if and you, you find these things out. If you've out. never gone to Birkenstock website and you never looked at like full retail or you never looked to buy for yourself, you wouldn't know that. No, you wouldn't at all. Um, and to be quite frank, I think most people nowadays, so many people buy pre-owned, it's not something you'd buy new. So these were £5. These were in slightly better condition than my, my £1 on the floorers. Um, so I'd expect that first you back for those ones. Um, and they sell really well in summer. And then during the winter, I try and crack all the clogs out. The crack all the clogs out, yeah. What did I say? No, you, I think I, it's, it's, you say it's crack. It sound like rack. Last but not least, <laughs> sound like rack. <laughs> it's all rack. I don't have a rack. Uh, last but not least is this uh, these sunglasses that we spotted in the last shop in the video. If you'd like to go and watch that, we spotted them in the window. But you don't see that visually because Austin's a moron. Um, and then I asked to take them out the window. And then when she revealed them to me, I didn't get much footage of that either. So we're going to show you in depth right now. The case is a bit warm, but to be honest, we never get them in the case. It needs a clean shield, So we'll dude. just give it, a, give it a little clean. They wanted £4 for the case. Four. Or you could have the sort of contents as well. Um, but to be honest, she just charged us 20 for it all. So I don't know what I like. It says 20 there. So I don't know what the £4 was all about. And we paid 20 correct? And we pay 20. The inside of the case is quite nice. Yeah, you, you fondle with them. Um, and you get the little dust cloth in case you, you know, need this. We so pay 20. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, folks. I think they look nice on you, like in a weird, like, Look at that for something special. Diamante. Diamante. So these are the sort of uh, early 2000s wraparound sunglasses. Um, I couldn't find exact comps so I, um, on eBay because I know people like eBay comps the best. So I just put sort of wraparound sunglasses. Um, yeah. These have got the Diamante Crystal D and G, um, yep. which is Dolce and Gabbana for those yep. who don't know. Um, these are in really good condition. Yep. Um, obviously, because of the Y two K trend, the two thousands trend, these are spot on, bang on. The sh shades that you want to sell. Yeah. Um, they're really cool. They are cool. Quick guide for you as well. Not all sunglasses, but most most designer. They have the brand on the one arm. And then the other side, and fakes have this too, but I'm listening to authentic authentication. But what you'll find is the other side, if I can get it close enough, not at all, why would I try? There's a load of numbers there. Yeah. Uh, and that gives you the actual model. So if you type those in, usually you'll get that on online. If you're trying to sell something, it's just rather than you try and find those particular glasses, it's very hard unless you have no, no specific keywords. They're such a vibe. I think they're really horrible. 
But on me, but, on me, I think. Do you know, you know. Do you know what it gives me? Slightly like, uh, maybe like mid or mid, early 2000s, but Bono if, vibes. If you, it's the tint. Oh, we met Bono once on holiday in Greece. Yeah. Cool, cool story. Nice guy. Cool story, bro. It was the whole of YouTube, but no, no one cared really, do they? They all wanted to see <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if you get it in this light, I think they're really cool. Look at that in that light. I said And the then you go straight the... forward. Mm, that's because really. your, your, hat, your hat is tint in it. See? I actually quite like these, see? actually. Anyway. Are they cool? You just said they look awful. Yeah, I said they're cool. Awful. Like, anyway, £20, jump, jump pounds, on the bandwagon, twenty pounds guys. seems Honestly. like um, a lot for a pair of Y two K wraparound sunglasses. And if we Is were it? talking five years ago, I wouldn't have touched them with a barge pole because no one's wearing. You wouldn't have sold them for. Nothing. However, I just sold a pair of Jean Paul Gaultier. Uh, which is his name. Um, I sold some green ones that I picked up from a boot sale for two hundred and fifty, uh, without case. And they weren't in this condition, so I'm gonna go for one seven five take offers. How do you feel about that? Yeah, spot on with the case and the desk cloth. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, other quick, other quick one as well. Just when you mention it, uh, Jean Paul Gaultier. Um, a lot of people will know um, Jean Paul Gaultier from fragrance, the kind of stripy, kind of sailor looking bottom, the female. Um, uh, what is it like a? Um, a corset bottle, pink yeah. and blue. Um, but John Paul Gaultier was massive, massive, late early 90s, late 90s, mid 2000s. Um, and recently, everywhere due to once again the Kardashians, because they are the highest of high end fashion, like it or not, they get given stuff before people even put, in, put in stores. Um, they've been with a lot of vintage uh, Gaultier. Yeah. So, in which case, um, the and kind of old, Dolce old, and Dolce, but like, right, we've said that like a zillion times though. What I'm saying is, these prints are like madness, they're like they're like really high neck, they're really like fitted, yeah. Um, they do them for men and ladies, but those prints, if you find those at the moment, you're talking like between 500, 1000, oh, 2000, they can go up. So, Keep those are out. sunglasses, so pay up for wraparounds at the minute. I mean, don't pay up like lows, but you pay up where you need to. Um, <laughs> that was Bath, short and sweet, short and sweet. Um, our next video, we're going somewhere else, which was also a very good. Uh, and that haul is so large. It's vast. It's going to be at least an hour haul. Humongous, so one would say. Grab your mega pints. And... I like that reference. Yeah. I don't know if that's too old now. Is that like it's on the verge? No, because you like, can't. Like in the week, mega you... pint is just like, oh, you're so last week. No, because it's not even about that. It's about pouring a very large glass of wine and enjoying it because you can. That's what it's about. It's about... I don't know why you have to, you have to do it, you know. No, I just think mega pint of wines are great. Great. Uh, it's always about alcohol with you. <laughs> anyway, I'll put the total how much spent. I'll put the total of how much made. I'm not going to put them right here where my fingers are. Honestly, there will be there will be someone on the screen because in the video. it never works. And thank you again for putting up with us and joining us for this very exciting haul that wasn't that exciting. Um, and we'll see you in the next video where it gets a bit more exciting. That was exciting. Oh, okay. Okay, all. Awesome. Whatever you say. Do you want to say bye? No, it made me sad now. <laughs> Goodbye.